All right, welcome back now. I'm being joined uh, to have a very amazing conversation, I believe, uh, by uh, an absolute icon uh, who has uh, been uh, part of our lives for decades, uh, entertaining us and educating us in the process. I have here with me, Joker Silva. Thank you very much for being here today. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. <laughs> and, um, let me start with what's, what's on everybody's minds, of course, yes. these days, which is the COVID, coronavirus, mm -hmm. and the lockdown. How were you able to navigate life through the last couple of months? Um, lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> you know, staying home as much as possible. Yeah. Trying to obey all the health protocols yeah. about, you know, um, sanitizing hands, washing hands, you yeah. know, sanitizing, washing and masking. Yeah. All those things, yeah. yes. And of course, social distancing. <laughs> very, very important. I ask that because there's a, there's a belief that people in entertainment mm. or actors uh, mm. tend to be very restless because you're very creative. You're mm. constantly looking for what, what next to do, mm. what creative sort of juice to, to expel. Mm. So how mm. were you able to stay and ah. not work mm. or just express yourself creatively? No, it wasn't. <laughs> stay at not work. <laughs> I think I've done more work oh, wow. these last couple of months, you know, especially the the access to Zoomy. Yes. Zoomy has become very oppressive. <laughs> <laughs> and intrusive. <laughs> because now once people know that they can Zoom call you, it's a, it's a case of... I, I remember once I was on Zoom from, from like 9 a.m. in the morning till we just short breaks in between till nine at night. And yeah. I said, no, this is, this is harassment. <laughs> <laughs> because they feel they can get you anytime yes, or anywhere. Yes, There's really <laughs> yes. Yeah. What's the biggest lesson you think you've taken out of this last couple of months? Um, that as I think for me, the most fascin fascinating thing is the fact that the Lord's mercy on us as a nation is incredible. Yeah. At the moment, I know that the government is working very hard to improve the fragility of our health system. You know, it's going to take a while. It shouldn't take too long, by God's grace. It's going to, but it's going to. And you, we are not. We have not had. The, the incredible numbers of fatalities that the rest of the world was expecting. Yeah. And as far as I'm concerned, that's God's mercy, yeah. that we are really under God's mercy. Yeah. Um, that doesn't mean we shouldn't obey all the health protocols. We I'll start really, slacking now. Yes, we yeah. really need to. Yeah. We really need I agree to. with you because I say that yes. every week when I'm here, I need to remind people that there's still a virus out there literally yes. killing people. Mm -hmm. People need to be very mindful and, of that. And, you know, that. It's, it's really sad, the yeah. numbers that we have lost, but by, you know, by God's grace, we will not lose yeah. anymore. How is Uncle Lolo doing? He's doing very well. <laughs> He's doing very well. Yeah, very, <laughs> yes, very good you. to know that. Um, you. Let's, let's go to your industry now, which, yes. which you've been a pioneer of, has been a part of for <laughs> Me, so a pioneer. Many. Then when, <laughs> then when you put the mama teas at the time where Jai Lai said, on whose soldiers we stand. Yeah, well, well I mean, I'm, I'm very close to that generation. Exactly. Right? So yes. I guess that's yes. what I mean. You've, you've been a part of it for a very long time. And yes. it's gone through so many evolutions yes, over time. The 90s came with its own sort of mm -hmm. new home video swing to mm -hmm. things. And then the DVD started and now we're in a cinema era where mm -hmm. you know things are starting to look like structure might be coming mm -hmm. in some way even if it's not deliberate it looks like organically mm -hmm. things are starting to look in place the Netflix mm -hmm. is arriving mm -hmm. you know there's more eyeballs on the industry um, mm -hmm. how are you feeling about the way things are now compared to when you started because sometimes people say oh there's nostalgia back mm -hmm. in the days how do you feel about then and now well um, I think for those who, you know have that sense of nostalgia <laughs> I'd like to say that, yes, 
Um, there was a time when, you know, we had incredible, well thought out stories. Those times have come back. Yeah. You know, people are beginning to tell well thought out stories for the camera. Okay. You know, there was a time when you would think that, you know, these stories are being told for the theater. <laughs> you know, a lack of use of, you know, the camera to tell the story. Yes. But that's improving, you know, where we're, we're actually telling well-structured stories. Um, <clears throat> so that sense of nostalgia, no, it's yeah. not there anymore. I mean, one just sees that there's an inc incredible possibilities, you yeah. know, especially with all the platforms available, uh, you know, available. And I know that... You know, anybody who is in this field right now, there's just so much work. So if you're yeah. good at your work and if you're dedicated, there's a lot of work. Yeah. You, you look know. at the new, there's a lot of new people in the industry. Mm -hmm. now. Younger people are making their way in Which uh, is much more than in the past when <laughs> yes. the, the profession was seen a certain way. Mm -hmm. Now people are more eager to say, I want to be an actor. Yes. Uh, there's also the fear that that's <laughs> open up the window to all sorts of people coming mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. Are you excited by what you see? Are you cautious? <laughs> are you nervous? What, what do you see with the new guard? I, I, I think what's interesting about the era that we're in now, which I, which I really like, because um, around the time when I came into the industry, um, those who were before me couldn't really um, work solely as creatives. Yeah, they had to had have other to, things. They had to have something, even though their main, their, their main passion was for this industry. Yeah. Um, so if you're looking at um, people like, I think, Auntie Bidu Allison, who was on Village okay, Headmaster. Yes. If I remember rightly, she was also a banker. <laughs> you know, yes, wow, you, I yes, know yes, yes, yes. You know. <laughs> so, you know, um, uh, um, late Uncle Jabadu, you know, I think he was also a banker. You know, so there were a lot of, is, but gradually, you, you know, with, the, op with more work, people started... Um, focusing on, on, on being performers. Yeah. Now, but then there were very few of us, you know, that were strictly performers, that were strictly within the uh, creative um, space. space yeah. And then you just, all of a sudden, you then have the next generation where you have the Kate Henshaws, the Rita Dominics, the yeah. Bimbo Akitolas, and, you know, that generation. And then after that, you don't even know the names anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, apart from people like Lala and yeah. Yoga, you know, but there are just so many people yes. now, um, which is nice, yes. which is good, because that then says to us that, yes, you Some have a money profession. Some money and this is now coming. It's in. not only that, that it is a profession. Okay. There is a profession, there is a livelihood, there is a pathway. Um, so that's exciting. Yeah. Now, because the entry level is low, yes, you do get all comers. You do get people <laughs> Who, I mean, I was very shocked when I had heard of some people who just come into the industry. They just come in so that they can be seen, they can be known, yes. and then... Segue into other things. And, and I'm like, <laughs> this profession that I'm giving my life away, you know? So hopefully there, there are a lot of things that are being done yeah. to make sure that we reduce that. Yeah. We, we have more focused people within yeah, the industry. Who are very deliberate about what they do. Yes. I know you are, you are very passionate about theater and live performances. Yes, um, yes. And there's always, I, I don't know that I hear it very often anymore, but in the past yes. there was always the talk about, you know, some of the best actors always started on stage. Yes. Or had to have some stage background. Yes. Them. We don't <laughs> seem to see that very often anymore. Do you think that's a problem for the craft? Um, I really do. Okay. That, but I mean, that's my that that you know that's what I think. That's what I believe. I think it's very important. Till today, if you look at um, globally, globally, the most um, successful, whether it be it film yes. or um, uh, TV series, just check it. Yeah, there. Where they're, it's their writers, their cinematographers, their actors, everybody has a stage back, a theater background. Yeah. You know, there's just something about having that theater training, those skills that helps you with the analysis of scripts, that helps you with your interpretation, because that's who we are as yeah. actors. As actors, we are interp interpreters yeah. of, you know, the works of the writers, of directors, and things like that. So yeah. um, the more, I think, for us in Nigeria, the more skills we have, you know, the, the basic training of, um, of, of um, theater training in all areas, whether it be it script writing, yeah. be it in directing, be it in acting, 
the better our work will yeah, be. Yeah, it will definitely yeah. reflect. Yeah. Uh, let me put you on the spot. Theatre or film? I love both. I, I, honestly, I love both, and I'll tell you why. The, the, the thing is that theatre has its own challenges, you know, the immediacy of theatre, but the beauty of theatre is that you, 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 you tend to spend so many weeks rehearsing, all right? And, you know, you, you form that camaraderie with the rest of, your t with the, rest of the team. Um, of course, it's very immediate, so if anything goes wrong, you have to be very quick on your feet and, <laughs> you know, <That's> <laughs> Im Im improvise and all that. But... Um, that's for theatre, but the challenge for film and for camera work is that it can be so cold. It can be so cold, there's very little feedback, yes. you know, so you really have to be very zoned in to the character that to you're playing. Properly. To deliver properly. For a short space of time. And then you spend so long waiting for them for, to set up for the next <laughs> scene. Whilst it's <laughs> you know, taking character. Yeah, it, you know, it, and sometimes you, you, you come out of character <laughs> and then they, they tell you, oh, okay, we're ready to go. And then you find your, just find that space and, and get into character again. Yeah. So, so they both have their challenges and I love them yeah. both. Yeah. Something you, I know you're very passionate about now, which is one of the reasons you're here, of yes. course. Um, when you mentioned, you know, the fact that more people are focused on being just creatives and not necessarily mm. having side uh, gigs, like we mm. say these mm. days. Mm. Uh, the money conversation always comes up. And you know, one thing that I know uh, Nollywood has been criticized for a lot recently, mm. or not too recently even, is the fact that a lot of people who've gone through the profession end up, you know, we see all of these things on social media, you know, people asking for funds when they fall sick or they catch a certain ailment, you know, and it's become a recurring question. Is it that money's not being made? Is there no insurance for these people? Why is it so regular almost okay. for people, especially in your generation who mm. have gone through the industry for so long and should have acquired a certain amount of wealth, not able mm. to sustain their health. You know, why do you think that is and what is happening now? Okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's it. My baby, damn question. <laughs> okay. But let, me, let me try and answer you. Yeah. Um, I think it's three pronged the answer to it would be three-pronged. First is the fact that people are not budgeting properly, okay. as far as I'm concerned. When we budget, we just budget um, for returns on investment, not realizing that a lot of, especially, and I'll focus, because that's my area, focus on the actors, the, not realizing that the people who bring your work to the public are the actors. They, are your, they, they sell the brand of whatever the film is. They, it's the actors. And, you know, so there's this thinking that, oh, you know, an actor does two, two weeks of work and gets paid between 500,000 and 800,000 Naira, you know. That's fantastic. Now, what people fail to, to remember is that that actor has to pay his rent from that, has to pay the school fees from that, has to pay health, you know, all, all kinds of things from that. And he may not get another job. For quite a while. For quite a while. All right? And so the other parts of the world that have thought about other ways of monetizing what the actor has done. Yes, they have filmed it for me, but the life of a film is forever. So you can keep exploiting it and exploiting it and exploiting it. And once, when you're exploiting it, especially your leads, they should get returns from that exploitation. Do, do you understand? Yeah. So that's one. Um, so in, in, in other words, the, the payment system needs to be looked at again. The, the, the fees, the remuneration, yeah, need, we, you know, we really need to look that, at that again. Now, the other, the, in the other area is that <clears throat> because of that, now what I said feeds into the next reason, which is the fact that now because you know that this is all I'm making from this, so what used to happen and what did happen with a lot of my generation is that you just went from film set, and it's still going on actually, go from film set to film set to film set, from job to job to job to job, and it tells on the body. You know, you're supposed to earn enough from... The couple that you do, yes. you know, so that you have a rest in between. Because unlike you, you, it's almost like you are the machine. 
that's doing the job, you know, unlike other things that, that are, you know, put start to sleep. Stop, yeah. yeah, start and stop. It, it's you, and you're on all the time. So, of course, that tells on the health. Um, so, in, so that, that is why for, for years, you know, the um, various um, executives of the Actors Guild of Nigeria had been searching for some kind of insurance scheme that would, you know, that would take care of health insurance. Okay. But unfortunately, a lot of those that, were in ex that are in existence or that were in existence couldn't understand the challenge of the actors. You know, for them, they felt that you know, um, they, this was the structure that they had. You had to pay everything up front, okay. you know, before they can, and, and that doesn't work doesn't for work, us. No. It doesn't work for us. We're, we're like contract workers, you know, so you cannot, <clears throat> I may have a job this, this month, I may not work for another three months. You do understand, but I may work, I may work, I may get like three gigs this month. You, do you understand? So it's, it, there's nothing certain. Um, so we were able, um, but this particular um, uh, the, uh, set of executives um, headed by Emeka Rulas, who is the president of yeah. the uh, current president of Actors Guild of Nigeria, was able to come across an HMO called Medicard, who do what you call retail insurance, retail okay. HMO, in which you can pay on a monthly basis the various cadres of premiums are within reach of the different cadres of actors. You know, that's number one. Also, for those who then can't even fit into the lowest cadre, we've already, we've already set up a trust fund for them oh, wow. so that we can assist. Whatever they pay, then we add to it. And then another trust fund has been set up for those who are um, who are who cannot be covered with the current HMO scheme because they are already ill. So the three categories oh, wow. are covered. Yes. Um, so um, with them, um, Medicard uh, HMO. What we have, I, I need to look here now. Yeah. The lowest cadre is the one thousand eight hundred and fifty, and that covers practically everything. You know, and you know, um, so you have cover, you, you have access to six hundred hospitals. Yes, 600 wow. hospitals nationwide. You have, um, and, and it's not only treatment, but the drugs are inclusive. Then you have group life insurance under that cover. You have kin uh, kidney transplant abroad, discount per, and then it's now the beauty of this particular HMO is the fact that you also, it's also, it's not only health, but also lifestyle. So okay. you can you can go to a butcher's and get a discount. Wow. So wait, sorry, <laughs> yes. this is open to all actors. <laughs> all actors, whether you are an actor for stage, film, or tele um, stage, film, television, uh, you're you're even a voice actor. Wow. As long as you're an actor, you do not even have to be a member of Actors Guild. However, you will pass through. Actors Guild before you get to men. Okay, if you're not so you a have member, to be a registered <laughs> member of the Actors Guild to access you, this? You, no, you don't. You, um, yeah, it's open to all actors, whether you're registered with Actors Guild or not. However, if you're not registered with Actors Guild, you still have to pass through Actors Guild. To get Guild access to this? To get access. Is there anyone yes. who can get information quickly? Um, yes, you can go through on the Actors their web, Guild of Nigeria? through Actors Guild of Nigeria on the website, you know, yes, on the, on our website, Actors okay. Guild of Nigeria website, you'll get more information. Um, and then, like I said, there are different cadres of, of, um, premiums yeah, okay. and I, and w one of the premiums are about 6,000 and something. I think I'm, I'm definitely yes. impressed. I mean, I heard a thousand something and I yes. think that already sold me. I think that's absolutely yes. amazing. So if yes. you're an actor out there, make sure you have your... This is for you. I mean, yes. I even want to go and act now so that I can, <laughs> I, can, I can tap into this. Thank you very yes. much for, for this amazing piece of information and Thank looking you. forward to all of the great things that you'll be doing in the industry. Thank you. I have one request before we go. Yes, I know okay. uh, the late Amaka Igwe is not here anymore with us, but can we get a, a, a sequel again of Violated, do you think? Um, well, Amaka is not here, and um, she, she created um, Violated. Violated. But Ego Boyo is around. <laughs>
I'll take that as I'll take that as so a yes. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> fingers crossed. You yes. have told me, and I'm happy. Yes. Thank you very much for being here today. Uh, Looking forward to for all the actors me. being a part of this. Please make yes. sure you don't miss this opportunity. It's absolutely amazing, and thank yes. you for doing all the great things you do. Thank you. We'll thank take you. a break now, and we'll be right back. Please stay with us. Thank you.